Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? This is my Commodore Amiga 3000T and we're going to make it wireless. Not in a traditional way like 2024 Wi-Fi just got a magic card and it works. No, no, no. We're going to be using an old D-Link. It's a DWL G810 wireless Ethernet bridge that I actually got a special request to do this one from the United Kingdoms of England. Now this has an Ethernet card in it. The idea is to make the Ethernet wireless. It's going to be a little goofy. My Ethernet is AUI, so your 15 pin AUI to 10 base T and this will give me Ethernet RJ45 capability. We're going to plug that RJ45 into the D-Link and it'll just sit up, well you can't even see that so tall, sit up here and be my wireless adapter. This will use Linux or something else or a modern computer to configure my Wi-Fi on it. I'm going to set up an old school Wi-Fi router, just something stupid, real quick. Slap it in at uh, AP mode to my LAN just to make something dumb. Welcome back. I spent the last hour or so creating an ancient network. AmigaNet. Connect. Saving changes and restarting. We're going to get a newer one of these bridges that works on more modern stuff. I had to go back to the early turn of the century with all my Apple hardware. I fired up an Airport Extreme on a local time capsule looking box, turned on a wireless network mode and bridge, made a new AP called AmigaNet. I just disabled all the security, made it wide open. I live next to a graveyard. If they need Wi-Fi, go ahead. It's a whopping 11 megs per second. This is a 100 meg card, so 802.11b. Wi-Fi was like 11, if you're lucky. Uh, G was 54, so let's do a speed test. I am connected Ethernet to Ethernet. I have a static IP. This is bridged. So we'll go to fast.com. Should be about 11 megs. Whoa. Oh, 15. 14. Yeah, not a good day. So remember, this is 2005 tech. All right, with that, I'm going to just unplug the ethernet here and close this and get it out of the way. I'm gonna hook this ethernet up to the AUI of the 3000. Show net status. Can I ping my gateway? Why? Does the bridge do it? The bridge handles it. I'm getting IP replies. Holy moly. So with that, we have networking. But can I browse the network? All right, networking is working. Here's my Amiga. Over wireless. Over this box. To my stuff. Music mods. All right, let's just copy this. Oh, let's just copy a bunch of them. That'll work. How do we do? Copy. This one's a Meg. I mean, not bad. It's doable. It's faster than a floppy net or a Mega Explorer. On a good day. This is from RAM to the internal Zulu file. Register to me, Dr. Chris. Alright, thank you. There we go. And we don't air out. Let's go to mnet.net. Wirelessly on the Amiga 3000 via an Ethernet bridge at the speed of molasses. 2005 technology. So this little box can make your life a little easier if you want a wireless-based Amiga. Now I got her unplugged right now just because this cable's thick. But power's in. This is an old one. We're going to do another on a more modern one. This is a modern day version of the Wi-Fi bridge. And it looks like this. It's a nice pretty purple. Yep, it looks blue on camera, but it's purple. It has a USB for power and an Ethernet dude. Now, this little unit, Amazon, like 20 bucks, um, is from VONets. 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 It'll do 300 meg, way faster than the Amiga can do. 
It has multiple functions. It can be its own wireless access point with a DHCP server. Kind of neat. Plug her in Ethernet off your switch and there you go. You can also make it a wireless adapter via just plugging it in and configuring its mode and it has a USB to DC where am I? USB to DC adapter which is kind of interesting. 5 volt, 2 amp. I'm going to run it off of a brick. Just a little USB whatever the heck. I have my power off the sun right here. This will simply plug into the Ethernet behind it on the Amiga and we'll plug it in. Well, I gotta plug it in close. We'll plug it in here. It will light up green and then blue in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Amiga on. To set this up, normally you would go to your PC and you basically join, uh, go to a Wi-Fi address 192.168.254.254 and you can configure it to join your wireless. At that point, it extends your wireless network to Ethernet via the bridge. Uh, wireless card on my PC, it's plugged into the Amiga and we're going to log in, admin, admin, and we're going to say you can do wizard or operative status. Now, you can see here I am bridging my network of get off my wireless. Perfect. You can scan the hot spots, which is your SSID. Mine will show what is available in and near my house. So there's the get off my wireless. Wi-Fi repeater. We can tell it to repeat my Wi-Fi if I want it to repeat. So we're going to do Wi-Fi. We're going to disable the hot spot. Apply. Now it forces it into repeater mode. So by disabling its Wi-Fi hotspot, it forces it into bridge mode, which is what it's in now with a modern day bridge. Show net status. There we go. So what I did was I plugged this in and I configured it to join my Wi-Fi and then I disable the, the access point mode. So it's not a Wi-Fi repeater. It forces it into bridge mode. That way, this device is on my wireless network but will transmit Ethernet request over Ethernet. And you can see here that I have an IP address from DHCP on my network and I can run eyebrows and I should be able to get on the network. Why is this the demo version? I don't know. We're just going to go to uh, Aminet. Boom. There we go. Wireless Ethernet bridge. The only stinker is I have a power pack I have to do. I could do a USB extension cord to power this or find a DC adapter that would power this little device because it won't run off Ethernet because there's no Ethernet power being transmitted out of that device. Now, I have swapped to 3.9. We're going to flip it back to 3.2.2.1. I need to save these instructions because, very important, there's a high probability, like 99.4% chance, I am going to forget how to do this in the future. Hence, I could watch my own video that I'm making right now, but interesting little thing, interesting little tidbit, even with the old one or the new bridge. The new one's nice because it supports modern authentication, modern security. It's just tagging off your network, and then you can also make it a wireless access point with DHCP and a whole nine if you wanted to if you had like a, a PC or some multiple devices to connect to it or you can make it an Ethernet bridge by disabling its little hotspot. There we go, so we're back to my 3.2 point whatever. We'll go to Rody. Haven't touched a thing. Show net status. We are connected. And now my eyebrows that's registered to me should actually work. MFTP and all of that stuff should work totally fine. Any application that is on your Amiga will work like it always did. Uh, we'll go, let's see, Aminet.net. Cool. I'm not waiting for that. It's too long to load. It's faster to reboot this thing. But it's nice to have a little wireless ability. Already configured now, so all I gotta do is plug it into any Amiga, give it power, and I have bridged Ethernet over my wireless network. Good for if you don't have a jack around or if you you wanted to use this on your kitchen table. 
instead of an area where you have cabled your house or maybe you have no ethernet ability in your house and you just you want to use your Amiga on the network but all the Amiga has is network cards 1200s and 600s PCMCA networking is available for them you get the idea of how this works with a wireless bridge I hope this information is helpful to someone out there and Mr. Jonathan sent me this updated unit in one day because he was requesting how this would work with a bridge ethernet bridge and this old ancient one does work but requires just such lax in security to 2024 standards unless you're really in the wilds for doing this get one of these it's modern and cheap so that is how you make a Amiga wireless using an Ethernet card for the big box Amigas or any Amiga that has an Ethernet adapter that you need or don't have cabling to get them online you can do it with your own Wi-Fi using a wireless bridge I'll link the product in the description below and I hope this helps you somewhere so that is all I got for today thank you for watching as always we hope you learned something Funny, you bastard.